Once I tested this cheap mirror, which must produce very cheap energy to be better than solar panels or thermal power plants. My mirror consists only of these steel rods and this primitive reflective film. After installing the film on the rods, we have a concave mirror, which can be used instead of these expensive mirrors to generate cheap electricity. Of course, one square meter of this beautiful mirror produces several times more energy than one square meter of this mirror, but it is several dozen times cheaper. Its reflective film costs 25 cents per square meter, and I spent less than three dollars buying these steel rods. I'm researching many other types of cheap mirrors to find the cheapest mirror in the world to produce the cheapest electricity. These experiments are described in other videos on my YouTube channel, but let's look at what my experiments with this type of mirror led to. My cheap mirror focuses solar radiation, and this is a point of high temperature. Now I will show you what that high temperature will do to this newspaper, which I placed at that point. The radiation did not set fire to the newspaper immediately, and I had to wait a minute and a half for my concave mirror to light a fire. The location of that high temperature is this part of solar radiation, and it is obvious that this spot must be inside such a receiver, where it must hit this black surface. Now we will look at its heating temperature, and here we see that the solar radiation hits the black surface to more than 300 degrees Celsius. But this surface is coated with black paint, and the heating temperature will be several hundred degrees higher if the paint is replaced by a selective coating, as in these well-known solar collectors. This is that receiver, and this black surface was heated by solar radiation to 300 degrees, which should be transferred to a heat transfer fluid that should circulate through this metal box using this inlet and outlet. But this metal box should be more complex, for example this type, where this metal fins transfer the thermal energy to this heat transfer fluid, or this type. It is important to know that traditional mirror dishes must be constantly rotated from morning to evening according to the movement of the sun across the sky. But our cheap mirror dishes will be motionless and will not have these extremely expensive structures to rotate a dish and fix it to the ground. These expensive structures will be replaced by cheap devices for moving our small receivers from morning to evening in this way or in this way. My previous videos have often shown how this part of solar radiation from a motionless mirror is constantly located inside its moving receiver, and have shown other features of our innovative type of interaction between mirrors and receivers. It is obvious that this pipe is used not only for the simultaneous movement of several dozen receivers with the help of a similar chip device, but also for the circulation of the heat transfer fluid. Therefore, our mirrors must form long rows, like these rows of solar power plants of this type, the number of which already exceed 100 in different countries, and their total cost is approximately 40 billion dollars. Their cylindrical mirrors focus solar radiation onto these long receivers filled with thermal oil, which is heated by solar radiation to almost 400 degrees Celsius. The hot oil circulates between the receivers and turbines with electric generators during the sun, but some of the thermal energy of the oil is transferred to these large heat storages, and this energy will produce steam for the same turbines at night. Unfortunately, these mirror systems are very expensive, and our mirrors are several dozen times cheaper. Our big power plant must have large numbers of the cheap mirrors, and it is obvious that such pipes must be a pest for the circulation of the thermal oil, which will be heated in the receivers to 300 degrees. This hot oil should heat sand, gravel, concrete or other cheap masses inside the heat storages to almost 300 degrees. The hot masses must produce steam for the turbines not only at night, but also on cloudy days, and different types of heat storages were described in this my old video. My goals are described by this formula, which leads to this cost of our solar heat, half a cent per kilowatt hour. This is five times cheaper than heat from coal, and almost ten times cheaper than heat from natural gas, and let's pay attention to this requirement for the efficiency of our cheap mirrors. 
It turns out that each square meter of the traditional rotating mirror dish produces about three times more thermal energy than one square meter of our cheap mirror, but I remind you that it is several dozen times cheaper. The main reason for the differences in heat production is the fact that the rotation of the dish allows it to give us energy almost all day long, from morning to evening, while our motionless mirror works during four or six hours around midday. But some of my videos have explored other disadvantages of our cheap mirrors. For example, these wrinkles of the film also reduce the efficiency, but this my old video showed three options on how to get rid of those wrinkles. You may be thinking that winds will be a problem, but here we can notice that there is a strong wind now, but pay attention here, and we see that the film is motionless, because it is very stretched. Also, I remind you that these three my old videos showed various problems with my cheap mirrors and how to solve them, and this my third video was about the lifespan of cheap reflective films. For example, that video showed the life of a mirror months after months, and now we see the mirror after 17 months of being in the open air, but then it was destroyed for about a month. But it was the cheapest film made from a single layer of Mylar 20 microns thick, and we can find a modulable film, and for example, we know about similar reflective films made of several polymer layers with a lifespan of more than 20 years. Also, my fourth video showed two simple and cheap methods of replacing films every one or two years that should meet these parameters in my formula. The short lifespan of the film allows us to refuse to wash the mirrors, although the refusal to wash leads to such a decrease in the efficiency of mirrors due to the accumulation of dirt and other causes which were shown in my third video.